Hey guys, Connie here. I am 10 days post-op and I wanted to show you how much more I'm standing up today. Um, Dr. Kara's office told me not to force standing up, but I'm not forcing this. I just naturally feel comfortable um, standing up this straight today. You'll notice I still have this little bugger. Drained 50 cc's within 24 hours yesterday and uh, I dr emptied it this morning and you'll see I'm already collecting some today. So this left drain is definitely taking its sweet time to uh, be ready to be taken out. My Lynn nurse came today. I was hoping that overnight it would have been not very much drainage, but I'm not gonna rush it. Once again, it definitely has a purpose. Um, so if you're one of those people that ends up with a drain, one drain like me, 10 days post-op, apparently it's totally fine and it's better that we keep it in and that that fluid comes out. Um, my right one is out. Um, I don't have any pain today. Um, I was starting to get a little itchy underneath this incision. I was feeling a little itchy here today on my chest. I've been putting a little bit of bio oil on this side of my chest that where there's no incisions just to sort of help with that stretching and that itchiness feeling and that seems to be helping. Cold really helps too. So I'll put like a cold pack here if it feels itchy or just gently rub it. Definitely don't want to be scratching and those are all signs that I'm healing and I'm healing really well. You'll see my breasts have really settled a lot already. Um, they look massive, but when I take off the bra, honestly, they to me are smaller than my original boobs, but just such a better shape and perkier. And I have to say, like, I love them so much. Like, I took off all my dressings and everything this morning, and I stood in the mirror, and I had such a big smile on my face with my new body. So, guys, like... 10 days post-op, I am so happy already with my results and I know that I still have like a year ahead of me for full results, but I'm super, super happy. My binder is fitting me amazing these days. It's still snug, but it's not cutting off my circulation and it's not feeling like I'm a stuffed sausage like I did the first little while. Um, I am not really taking anything other than Tylenol maybe a couple of times a day just to help with some of the swelling and pressure. I did take um, two of them before my nurse came this morning um, just in case um, you know I had any swelling or pressure and I managed to take a shower by myself today with supervision um, and I was able to shower my body. I didn't do my hair. I usually do do my hair though in the kitchen sink when I'm bent over like this. Um, but overall, I'd say 10 days post-op, I'm feeling excellent in my second week. I'm able to stand up a lot straighter. Um, last night, I had a moment where my back was absolutely killing me. Um, I actually have like a prescription back pain, um, like topical cream that has lidocaine in it because I actually get lidocaine injections in my neck and shoulders from some neck and shoulder pain that I suffer with. Um, so my doctor gave me a prescription a while back for something I can use topically. It's basically like an A535 or like an Arnica gel on steroids. And honest to God, I put that on my back and my shoulders yesterday and it just relaxed my muscles and it allowed me to have a really awesome night's sleep. And I think that is why I am standing up straighter today. I think just it took down the swelling in my muscles in my back and then it's allowed me to relax. And as a result, it's allowing me to stand up straighter without forcing it. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a check-in and let you know how I'm feeling, let you know that everything is going excellent, really nothing to report negative. If anything, it's only sunshine and rainbows over here. Um, it was really nice to look at myself in the mirror and have a huge smile on my face because I don't think I've ever done that. And I'm still covered in scars and bruises, but you know what? That's an improvement. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know how I was feeling and how great day 10 has been um, and how excited I am for my final results. This mommy makeover so far has been the best investment and the best thing that I've ever done for myself. So thank you so much to Dr. Kara and his team for making that possible and putting that smile on my face because I honestly didn't ever dream that I would be this happy and still with a drain in me and still hunched over but I'm super, super happy and I hope you guys are already seeing the results um, in comparison to my before photos um, and my before videos. Um, it's gonna take some time uh, and I'd love to share with you guys some you know, before and after photos and some comparisons eventually when the time comes. And uh, if you did wanna see a photo of anything, just um, send me a comment or a DM me and I'm more than happy to send you some private photos of sort of how things are looking 
um, post-op 10 days. Everything is so clean. Um, the incisions are so nice and small and they are getting uh, drier and drier and smaller and smaller every day. And I just can't wait for that peri tape to come off at three weeks or even if it falls off before then. And I can't wait to get the red light to start, um, or the green light, I should say, to start some scar treatment therapy so I can really try to minimize those scars, but have a very good feeling that everything is gonna heal so nice.